Welcome to Mod My Lexus, where we are gonna take arguably what is the best daily driver out there and add some more excitement to it. Welcome to another Mod My Ride series. I'm Peter and I have a confession to make. This is actually my daily driver, a 2011 Lexus CT200H. Believe it or not, we've got a fleet of sports cars, fast cars, but this is what I choose to drive on the daily and that is because it is surprisingly sporty. It's got a good amount of utility with the hatchback and it's got that reliability that you expect from a Lexus plus all the creature comforts that come with it. And it gets 40 miles per gallon, which is a huge bonus because I do do a lot of driving to and from work on the highway. As you'll notice, the front bumper here has uh, a lot of paint chipping. When I bought this car, I noticed it had a slight bubble in this area. And over the year, this has happened. It's completely peeled. And this whole idea of modding this car came about when I kind of was forced to decide to paint this bumper because my wife's been driving this car and she kind of feels embarrassed with the way it looks and whatnot. So I thought if I'm gonna paint this bumper, I might as well get a front lip for it. And then I thought, well, if I'm gonna get a front lip, I probably should get a spoiler for it. Then if I'm getting a spoiler, I might as well get some wheels and tires and then get some coilover. So as you can see, this is spiraled out of control pretty quickly, but I'm pretty stoked to be modding this car. So let's get started here. This is a lesson in a how not to paint a bumper. And believe it or not, this was actually painted at a Lexus dealership, uh, Don Valley North Lexus in the Toronto area. And uh, shortly after I purchased it, I called them and said, hey, this paint is peeling, you know, will you warranty this? Cause this, this was actually repainted fairly recently after I bought or before I bought it. And they said, no, you're not the, the original owner. So you, we can't warranty this for you, which is, Kind of a BS excuse, but it is what it is. This is a great excuse to put this on here, which is a Modalista uh, replica front lip, which I think is super cool. Let me just throw it on here. It's kind of subtle enough where I don't think it's going to uh, dramatically change the look of this car. Ow, pinch my finger. But remarkably, it fits pretty well. Look at that. Yeah, it looks so, great. Yeah, I think it looks super cool. peeling the paint on this thing everybody because it's just so satisfying <laughs> and also kind of shocking that whoever prepped and painted this bumper didn't do any work like there's no primer on here and there was clearly no flex agent in the paint either so like look how it's it a just quick repair job falls right off of here like it is insane how poorly adhered that is and there's no primer on it i thought you would have to prime a bumper before you paint it and i know you have to put flex agent in it Body and repair guys, let us know what they did wrong here because this is shameful. You'll quickly notice that this build is very simple. I'm not going too hardcore with it, but I did want to add a rear spoiler and the Lexus CT200H F Sport line does have this beautiful unit. And I've got to give a huge shout out to our top Patreon, Kurt. Thank you so much. He's in San Francisco. I found this through carpart.com uh, down in that area. He went to the wrecker, picked this up. He actually got the, they gave him the entire hatch. He stripped the hatch and shipped this to me. So Kurt, you are awesome. Thank you so much. From one hatch back to another, had to drive the STI. It's been relegated to daily driving duties now that the Lexus is down for it. Man, what a, a hardship, eh, and... to have to drive this, this awesome STI. Man, that's so much so, faster than so your Evo will ever that, be. That clutch, I don't know, DP. <laughs> 
This is Luke from 242 Customs, and well, what do we got here, Luke? Somebody yeah. did something wrong. So this is definitely a raw plastic bumper. They obviously just threw it in the booth and threw some paint on it. So what they didn't do any type of like, they, are you supposed you to can primer definitely this? See, you could primer it. Most of the time you would just do a wet on wet sealer. So the sealer has a little bit of flex agent in it. You have to use adhesive promoter on the raw plastic, coat of sealer, coat of base, clear coat. This time, he obviously wanted to get out early or something and just threw some paint on a raw cover. And, and that's is, what you get. This is what we have. This is literally what you get. Just a, one stone chip, wind on the highway. That's, what's, that's what literally has been happening. Yeah, it'll show just, that it'll just, just peel like it off. Coming apart, it'll so. just pick off. All right, well, we're going to leave this with you. Obviously, you're going to do it the right way. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back in two, three days-ish. Yeah, maybe? if that. All right, great. Time to make this thing ride and handle as good as it's gonna look. And for that, we have turned to our friends at Fortune Auto for these 500 series coilovers. These are the new generation seven stuff. And I gotta say, man, it's really nice. They put this really nice like anodized finish on the collars. You can see they've like bat, back cut this upper mount here to take weight out of it. They now use a radial bearing and all of their McPherson struts type ones so that there's no spring bind and it makes the steering feel nice and uh, you know proper. Obviously it's got camber plates up top. They've really put a lot of details into this Generation 7 and of course we know from past experience running 500 series coilovers on a bunch of our cars that they do ride exceptionally well on the street. Pete should still be cruising in comfort as should his wife and of course he has independent ride height suggestibility here so we'll be able to lower the car without affecting spring preload and get this thing looking really pretty. So let's bolt these on and see how they look on the car. Well, that was easy as throwing them on the car, but do be careful when you throw them on or you may chip the paint. DP. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I made a boo-boo. I got a little excited about the whole TikTok and event that happened here, but anyway, it is a very easy install and now we've just got to do a quick ride height adjustment, quick preload adjustment on the springs, and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Well, as you guys just saw, a quick tune-up was in order, and I've got to say, man, the spark plugs were in terrible shape. Have you ever seen a spark plug that looks that bad? It's pretty bad, man. And this thing was still getting great gas mileage, so nevertheless, that was a, a worthy job. As you guys just saw, we put some new formulation, high mileage, 5W20 Valvoline synthetic motor oil into this thing, and I did a k and oil filter. And in the beginning of the video, you probably saw me 
I should have left this till we did all the other work because it was kind of crummy working over all of this fluid film that I just sprayed here, but this is their new black formula. If you don't know fluid film, this is like the perfect uh, anti-rust protection. And this is their old stuff, which it was more of a translucent color. Uh, and now they've got it in this black. The formula hasn't changed, just the color was. And I'm actually gonna undercoat this car. There it is, the Lexus is undercoated. I'll show you what it looks like in a moment, but I wanted to explain what I was using. And of course that was the fluid film black vehicle undercoating. And if you don't, well, if you do have access to air, then this is their spray gun setup, which works really awesome. However, you know, as a do-it-yourself method, you can certainly use the cans, just get under there and, and spray bomb it. That also works. We have done that in the past before we got the gun. So let's, uh, let's uncover our makeshift uh, tent setup here and we'll show you what it looks like. I'm certainly liking the new black color. It's kind of transformed the underside of this chassis. No more rust. It certainly has a perfect, nice, shiny coating. And as you can see, this is going to make sure that this car doesn't rust any further. Spoiler and bumper are back from paint from 242 Customs. And boy, do they look good. Check out this lip. I had Luke paint this black and I think that was the right choice. It looks stunning. This bumper does go on fairly easy. And once again, it is looking mighty proper. There's just one thing missing and that is our wheels and tires. Now that it's time to move on to wheels and tires, I've got a very important question for you, PT, and that is, are you going full-time attack? Are you going semi-time attack? Or are you going full street tire spec on that hybrid daily driver of yours? I mean, the answer is always time attack? Of course, it should be. I mean, look at these things. These are, of course, the AO52s uh, from Yokohama. This is really the class-leading time attack tire for street class competitors. It is super fast. As we proved on our S2000, actually, a couple of years ago when Jackie Ding last lent us a set, and a link in the top corner there if you want to check that video out. And this is their new Apex. So the Advent Apex uh, V601, which is a 280 tread wear. And from what I understand from chatting with the guys at Yokohama, it actually shares the same compound as the AO52. It just has more tread depth, more void area. So it is a better street tire, but on a single flying lap or two, it apparently should be very close to the AO52 on speed. So if you're looking for a really fast track tire that maybe has a bit more rain performance, a bit more street friendliness than the AO52 does, this could be a great option for you. And then of course, PT being the mature adult that he is, will opt for the true street tire. This is the ultra high performance Fleva V701 tire from Yokohama. It's also a new offering. In fact, I think this is the newest offering in their Advan lineup of tire. Advan is like their highest performance line of tire. And uh, these are a 300 tread wear tire, and you can see it has a lot more void area, a lot more siping in it, so it's gonna give you much better uh, wet weather performance, which you really want on a daily driver, obviously. But it also has a lot of performance packed into it. It's got this big center rib, which gives you really uh, good high speed stability and on center feel. It's got these big uh, shoulder blocks, which will give you lots of grip and turn in response in the dry. And then in this uh, wet area, you can see they put a lot of uh, siping in it and uh, it's a directional tire too which is really quite helpful in wet weather performance as well and interestingly they've also tuned out noise with this tire so it should be nice and quiet on the, on the street for you pete by virtue of having 30 degree sipes on the outer shoulders and then 60 degree sipes down these two center ribs those apparently cancel their the noise out from each uh, tread block so it, it should be what is a nice quiet tire and you know, being a 300 tread wear, it shouldn't be too stiff of a sidewall compared to these bad boys here either. So it's going to be a nice livable summer tire for you. It is my favorite time and that is wheel reveal. So are you ready for it? Check them out people. Gloss black Enki TS5s in a 18 by 9.5 plus 45 offset. These are big wheels going on big tires fitting up to a car that you would not necessarily expect an 18 by nine and a half to fit on, but they do, which is kind of remarkable. And I love the clean five spoke design of these wheels. Obviously the concave is gonna add a ton of aggressiveness to it. And the black on white is gonna look pretty good too. So let's throw this on here and let's see what it looks like. This car certainly has some newfound presence, wow. It's low, those wheels look amazing. There is one thing that I almost forgot, and that is 
the spoiler right in the rear here. So I think this is gonna be the, the finishing piece to add a little bit of sportiness to the back. The front is pretty aggressive now. So I think this will add exactly what I'm looking for. So let's get this thing bolted up. Just the perfect subtle upgrade I was looking for and goodness, OEM stuff just fits so right. That was a five minute job swapping this thing out and like I said, man, it is looking mighty fine. So now what we have left to do is polish this car because as you can see, it is absolutely filthy. Man, what a difference a wash and a polish makes to a car. This thing was looking kind of sad and yellowy white and neglected before, and now it looks like a new car. It really it's looks shining. Amazing. She looks beautiful, and I love the gloss black wheels on this pearl white paint. It really pops, but before we do the big reveal, I think we gotta go get an alignment done. So we're gonna jump in the car right now and head to NV Auto. So what do you think? Oh, well, I mean, it certainly rides a little bit firmer than it did before, but it feels Great. I mean, it doesn't feel harsh by any means, does it? No, no. I'm I'm actually surprised uh, at at speed over just the regular bumps. It feels better than stock. Yeah, it feels well it's controlled. Just sure. cr crashing over some potholes here and there that we've hit already. Mm -hmm. That's where the difference you is it, for sure. And I think that's more of a tire profile thing. It could we've be gone from like stock 17s up to these 18s, 18s right? 18s and less sidewall, and yeah. it's a uh, ultra high performance summer tire, so it's going to have a stiffer sidewall. Yeah. But and the, obviously the spring rates have gone up a bit too, right? Yeah, So there's yeah. going to be a bit of a trade-off there, but from overall, a, it feels From great. like a, a perspective of driving on the street, I think it's a, a great win on the coilovers. The tires are actually quite quiet. They are very quiet, aren't I, they? I was, I'm surprised about it because I thought, you know, from a, a high-performance street tire, usually you get a little bit of noise, noise but these yeah. ones seem to be there and no, uh, they seem, seem to be pretty quiet. Yeah. Getting onto the highway here. Let's see what this Lexus is made of. Oh boy, you're giving Whoa, it the full set. DP. <laughs> telling you, that's see? That, that's a lot of tire on this car. 255. That, that, it is tire. for sure. Whew. I'm telling you, this car is actually sportier than you would think. It is. It, yeah, it really because is. Because of the the low center of gravity with the battery system and whatnot, it's yeah. just it's actually quite a, a sporty car. I like driving it. Speaking of, if someone's interested, if you guys are interested in seeing a quick little review yeah. of this vehicle, I may shoot it, post in the comments, let me know, because uh, I, I, I feel like I need to explain myself as to why I daily drive a vehicle like this, yeah. and, and I truly do love it. Yeah. And it's practical, it's sporty, it's super reliable, so if, uh, if you're interested in that, certainly post in the comments and I'll, I'll shoot a video on it. Well, man, that turned into a bit more work than you probably expected, and frankly, we brought you a car that turned itself into, like, stance boy stance. On the way here, the ride height came down quite a bit, so we were like, can we raise it up? And then that turned into a whole job, so thank you. We raised it about, what, an inch? We raised about an inch. I mean, it's gonna be a winter car soon, right? So yeah. we don't want it too low, especially with the winters we get here. Yeah, it was a smart move. It looks great at, at a more practical ride height, too. And Alignment-wise, it's dialed in nicely, although we do have this one issue with the rear toe on 
one side where the adjustment bolt, I guess, is just seized up. Yeah, it looks like it's, uh, this car looks like it's never had an alignment done. So most likely that nut's never been loose before. So a lot of times what happens is when you do try to give it more force to crack loose, you can't break the bolt. Yeah. Uh, being how it's, uh, at the end of the day, we kind of don't want to break that because these, they might take a while to order these. These vacuum parts are yeah. really hard to get around here. It's a Friday at the end of the day here. So yeah, let's uh, come back another day and break that bolt yeah. once Pete's ordered a replacement. Okay, well, thank you very much, guys. We appreciate it. And for all you guys out there in the southern Ontario area, if you need alignment done, they do have this beautiful new Hunter rack and the smart man turning the wrenches. So uh, come look them up. Well, everybody, I think that is going to be a wrap on this one. And man, what a transformation. A couple simple modifications, lowering wheels, a front lip and a spoiler. And this car to me has a new lease on life. It looks so good. So thank you as always for watching. If you liked the video, certainly give me a thumbs up. And I'm gonna end this one on revealing this car to my wife because she does drive this car quite a bit. So I wanna see her reaction. Alexis, say hello to everybody. Hello everybody. It's my beautiful wife. And we're about to show her <laughs> the car here for the first time. I know your big complaint Ooh, was about the bumper. So. Good. Oh wow, it actually does look really good. Well, what do you think? It looks a lot different. What's different about it? Oh god, I don't know. Does that be this? <laughs> Obviously the wheels. Oh wow, yeah, it looks a lot better. Oh, I like it. You guys did a great job. That's good, that's good. Hmm. So we lowered it a bit. Oh, we careful. put a, a front, Ooh, yeah. That's yeah. This thing. That's the front lip that we put on. What's so the that car for? looks different. Looks? <laughs> oh, so it doesn't serve like a function. No, it doesn't. It, it's there to make sure that you don't hit any curbs anymore. So. I like it. I like this little black part. I would have thought that this would have helped the car stay on the ground. On downforce? No, no. Not, not, not so much. Not so much. It's, it's purely for aesthetics. And as you can see here. People no, I know so much about cars. That's right. You <laughs> can see nothing. the uh, the wheels and everything have been changed up. So the color even looks like different or better. I exactly. Don't know. Yeah, yeah. It was polished up. That's why it looks so nice and clean. Yeah, I know. Thank you. All this right. So yeah. Great. Oh, I'm excited now. Oh, cool. Or like you know, not even or just be like, yeah. look, watch me. I'm badass. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yep. You're rolling. Yep. Well...